Hello world, welcome back to the Razer RC. And I finally upgraded my race radio. If you've been following the channel, I do a ton of reviews on radios. I've got like 30 or 32 videos just on radios. So in addition to car reviews, I also do radio reviews, comparisons, how-tos, all that kind of stuff. And finally upgrade my race radio. So I picked this up, the Samuel MT44. I'm gonna explain why I got this. I think this is actually discontinued. So if you want one of these, I do have a link in the description below. You might as well pick one up right away as soon as you can. There's also a $30 coupon code I'll throw in the description below because these are going to be uh, not available very, very soon. I'll explain why I got that. So my current radio actually is this guy, the Sandwell MT4S. It is the predecessor to the MT44, basically their mid-range radio. I've been using this for like five or six years, and this is actually my second one. I had a, another MT4S from Airtronics before. Airtronics was the US distributor uh, here in the United States, and uh, they went out of business, so now everything is sold under Sanwa once again. But yeah, that's my second radio. Uh, my favorite radio, honestly. I actually have a life battery there in the bottom. One of the reasons I always uh, use this radio rather than uh, a MT44, but the MT44 has been out for about, I think four or five years. Uh, so it is again, uh, not the latest radio. They actually just released an MT5. So MT5 is their latest like mid-range radio. I think it's about $400. This was 330, I think, with a $30 off coupon, it was about 300. So uh, definitely a decent deal. And why I bought this is because the new MT5 does not support any of the older receivers. So I've got a ton of like receivers from the last seven, eight years, like this guy, the RX461 receiver, this is a telemetry receiver. This was like 125 bucks. I think I'd have gotten on sale for like $75. This is, as you can see, an Airtronics version. Uh, but for those of you that don't know, Stanwall has many different protocols. Uh, the main ones are FHSS, and then they have a two, three, four, and now five version of that FHSS protocol. Not compatible with Fatal or anything like that. So it is their own. But the latest MT5, their latest uh, mid-range radio does not support anything under FHSSS5. So all these receivers I have, I probably have like $1,000 worth of Samuel receivers. They are not compatible with the latest radio. So if I wanted to upgrade my MT44S, I had to pick up the MT44, which is this guy here. And it is a nice radio. Um, definitely an improvement over the MT44. And we'll, we'll take a look inside the box and see what you got. I actually have not even opened this yet. So this is my first like high-end radio in quite a while. But I'm a big fan of Sanwa radios. I think they actually are the best for racing. Uh, manual, as you can see, black and white. This feels like maybe it's got a receiver in it. So this is the receiver it comes with. RX482, very nice receiver. So the thing, to note with Sanwa is the reason the new radios no longer support the older older protocols is because there are Chinese you know basically clones of these receivers so these receivers from Sanwa have always been super expensive they were starting starting at about $75 I think for the the faster ones and going over a hundred dollars and then finally uh, some company out there reverse engineered these receivers are able to sell them you know something like this for about 40 50 bucks so i actually have a few of the clone ones and then i got a bunch of real ones and uh so the way sam i decided to counteract that is basically come out with fhss 5 and uh, not support uh, any of the older ones anymore um so that is a problem for people like me who have a lot of the older receivers and don't want to spend another thousand dollars upgrading all my receivers so here's the radio you know, as you can see, a little bit different than the uh, MT4S. Nice foam wheel. Uh, squared off all your trim buttons here on the, you know, around the dial there. And then all the adjustments you would expect, spring tension, trigger, uh, spring tension wheel. You can adjust basically the fore and aft of the um, trigger. I think you can even adjust like the throw. Uh, looks like there's a switch here, a little bit different. On my older radio, just had a switch up top. Looks like you have another one here on the thumb. The display is a lot nicer. It's higher end. The, you know, basically the handle here is collapsible now. 
So you can fold it up and down. Looks like this power switch. Uh, still a similar uh, radio. It does have a smart card. So you can actually copy uh, your profiles from one radio to another. <laughs> that is kind of annoying because my saying, well, I've got a lot of different uh, radios or uh, models on this. As you can see, I've got I've got everything. The B63, Cat L1 Evo, Cougar LE2, Storm 22X4, B741, XB4, YZ2, all on a single radio. And I'm going to have to somehow uh, copy all my settings over to this guy without having that smart card. So that will be kind of annoying. Uh, let's take a look at the battery tray inside. So just take three triple A's. The old MT4 has took four double A's, although I used a life battery. They do make a lipo for this that you can buy. Um, I think Protec makes an addition. It's like a 1S lipo. So I will pick one of those up and uh, be running that because I don't really like running uh, double A's or triple A's. Dial up here. Oh uh, yeah, so nice little radio. Okay, we got some batteries plugged in, so we're gonna take a quick look at what this looks like uh, turning on. So the power switch, nice little display, power's on. Super high resolution uh, screen. This is much better than the old MT44. Uh, so this is kind of your status. It shows you your steering, and then I guess all your different settings. Uh, as you turn the throttle or pull the trigger, you can actually see what the actual values are being sent. You got your telemetry here over to the side. So that is the 3.7 volts of the radio lap timer. And I don't know what these are, probably trims. Maybe, we'll see. Um, if you scroll the wheel, it actually shows you the real time telemetry. So as things change on your telemetry, if you have that, um, it'll actually show you, you know, a curve of what is actually going on with the radio. As I pull the trigger or, you know, uh, turn the steering wheel, all that kind of stuff. Kind of neat. So it is actually logging everything. And I'm not super familiar with this vehicle, uh, this radio, but let's kind of take a look. Um, so you hit select or enter on the scroll wheel. So these are all your different settings. This is the main menu. I don't know what custom is. I guess you can adjust a bunch of the uh, standard uh, rates and stuff, but actually inside setting, you also have that stuff. So all your normal dual rate, uh, speed, uh, curve, which is basically like your expo, uh, fail safe, base and trim. And then if you hit this button, you can kind of select through the different channels. So this would be throttle and then your uh, third and fourth channel. So this is a four channel radio. Uh, throttle function. So here's all your advanced things like anti-lock brakes, Offset, not sure what that is. Uh, looks like you can actually set maybe where the neutral is. Throttle type 70 30 or 50 50. Your auxiliary channels, not familiar with all these. So, yeah, sorry, I have not actually used this radio before. I'm looking at this for the first time. Also, your timer function. So, you can actually, I think, click uh, one of these buttons to uh, select your timer and get lap times and stuff. All your telemetry. So, yeah, like I said, you got log data pretty cool um, it does also have like battery voltage temp sensor rpm all that usual stuff all your model selection so if you want you know i think it holds up to i don't know 20 or 30 different models so a lot of different models and the system is your main thing so binding you can you basically program all these keys to do different things um i don't know auxiliary type i guess yeah well you want you know the flip of a switch to be a step function or an on off thing or to hold all that kind of stuff. Our mode, I think, is like some Sanwa um, advanced uh, performance uh, steering stuff. Battery. Okay, so you can yeah select different types of batteries. Nickel metal hydride, which uh, you probably don't want to do because it's going to complain that your battery type is wrong. You know all your different uh, limits. Buzzer. So you can actually adjust like the sound of the beeps. Lots of different beep selections. So two is like the normal beep, but you can change the sound of that. Lots of different stuff. I think even like, um, oh, crazy. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of control of this thing. Um, LCD, you know, brightness, contrast, all that kind of stuff. LED, huh, interesting. Well, it looks like this LED is kind of like pulsating. <laughs> so you have different colors and stuff. So the clock, the time. As you can see, I think this came out in 2016. So this radio is not new, but uh, um, it's pretty cool. 
pretty nice radio. It's certainly one of the higher end ones out there. So yeah, that's kind of a brief overview of the Samwa MT44. Sorry, I don't have a full um, walkthrough of all the different uh, settings and stuff. I did just get this, so we'll be transferring it over and looking forward to using this. Honestly, for race radios, you don't need all that functionality for the most part, steering, throttle, but having all those curves, speed, settings are really nice. Also the high performance of this. A lot of people think Samwa are kind of the most uh, in sync with the car where you feel kind of like one-to-one -one with the car you feel like very dialed in my opinion That is true. I've used a lot of different radios. I also have a Futaba 4 p.m I also have a Spectrum DX5C lots of radios and this to me is like the best You know sort of race radio available at the moment uh, So yeah, anyways, we'll throw down a link to where you can pick one of these up if you do want one I do highly recommend you buy these very soon uh, if you look at the uh, Samwa website in the US, I think it's Serpent America uh, They are the US import Order. They don't even show this radio anymore, so you can't even buy these. Uh, it's been discontinued with, along with some of the other radios, like this radio, the uh, MTS from Samwell, has also been discontinued in the last few months. So this was my pick for kind of like uh, an under $200 radio that was really, really good, really like race level uh, radio. But unfortunately, this is no longer available, and the MT44 is no longer available. So uh, yeah, I think the real reason is Samwa is trying to get everyone to use their FHSS5 stuff, uh, which they don't have clone receivers for, so that can kind of break the uh, aftermarket or third party market for their receivers. Allow them to continue to sell their Samwa branded receivers for make a, you know, reasonable <laughs> profit margin on those. That's my opinion, but yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe, add notification buttons. Look for more videos soon. Thanks for watching.